Hello walkers and welcome to Cincinnati, Ohio on the banks of the Ohio River. Uh, I'm going to spin you around here. Sorry about the spinniness. My name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker today, your virtual travel guide, your co-discoverer here on City Walks where we take virtual tours of cities and virtual treadmill hiking scenery. I'm going to flip you around now again. Try not to do this too fast so that people don't get discombobulated on their treadmills. Uh, we are going to do a little riverfront walk here in Cincinnati today. Uh, it is a Friday. I didn't even check the uh, temperature. And just like that, through the magic of television, uh, it is 70 degrees, 77 degrees. Fahrenheit, I think that's 25 degrees Celsius, if I remember from just checking a second ago. Um, it's about just a little before noon, and it is mid-July. I've been saying late July, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We are starting off here at Smale Park, or Smaley Park. I'm not sure how the locals pronounce it, but it is beautiful down here. Uh, I actually grew, well, I didn't grow up in Cincinnati, but I lived in Cincinnati. My family's from Cincinnati. Um, and I lived here in the 90s between North Carolina and going off on my own. Um, and it has changed considerably in 30 years. They've done a lot of work down here. They've made it really, especially particularly down here at the river, uh, they've really made it inviting and a great place to hang out and spend time. Uh, there's some stuff going on today here, uh, and I'm gonna. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you down here. We're gonna take a quick look at the football stadium and the Andrew J. Brady Music Center, which is right there, and you can see the uh, Bengals Stadium. I forget it's some corporate name. Um, and let me see if I can see what it is. The Paycor Stadium. Um, so that's their football stadium. I think it was, they're still arguing about who was gonna pay for that when I left, but it's a pretty attractive um, stadium. There, we're gonna sp spin around here. So they have a lot, they have a big uh, music festival going on downtown this weekend. Hence this giant uh, mass casualty preparation just for, just to be uh, on the safe side. Then they also have a baseball game going off this afternoon. Uh, just go out here to the Ohio River and uh, see what that is. So there's a bunch of bridges over here. That's 71, 75 bridge over there. You got Fort Thomas, Kentucky across the way. And that's the 421 bridge. I think there's a proper name for it and a bunch of history there uh, that I don't know. <laughs> I didn't bothered to look up before I started this, sort of trying to squeeze this in between um, seeing family and doing some other stuff. So hope you'll forgive me on that. But I do want to point out this bank. So uh, the riverfront wasn't really used for a long time. Back in the 1800s, paddle wheelers, you can see some sort of in the distance there, would nose up against the bank and unload that way. And in Cincinnati for a long time was one of the major cities of the United States, particularly in the 1800s, like fourth or fifth, uh, it was known as Porkopolis, and the Queen, it's now known as the Queen City, Porkopolis, because it had a lot of pigs and pig processing stuff here. So, uh, but I'm gonna, this is a great little walk along the river. I just wanted to show you this bank and that gentle slope. A lot of this was concrete when I lived here, um, and they have brought in gardens and these beautiful, lovely little swings. We're going to walk a couple, past a couple playgrounds that are uh, full of kids and water features. And you can kind of see downtown in the distance. We'll get some more glimpses of that. But I just wanted like these great picnic tables and it's clean, it's well maintained, and it's just a wonderful place to come. And um, Parking is a little bit of a challenge, uh, but there are garages and there are lots down here uh, where you can pay. Not a lot of street parking down this far. There's stuff 
up in the downtown area. Here's a view of downtown. You can see the PNC Bank building, that white marble, it's not probably not marble, but uh, with the columns there. That's a famous one from, uh, there was a show called WKRP in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati. Um, with Lonnie Anderson and a few other people. Uh, character Les Hartman. That was back in the 70s and early 80s. And it was set here in Cincinnati. Um, but look at these gardens. Isn't this amazing? Um, we were wondering what these little silver balls on the edges here were. And sometimes cities put things down to keep homeless from sleeping on benches, which such an intractable and difficult complex problem that. But this wouldn't do that. Um, and then my son said, oh, it's probably to keep people from uh, doing slides on skateboards. I think they're called rail slides or grinds or something uh, from my brief stint as a wannabe skater in the 80s. Um, and that made a lot of sense. So I think that's probably what that is. And these stone benches are wonderful uh, places to sit. Look how peaceful this is. Oh my gosh. Um, and they would be pretty trashed if people were down here skateboarding on them. Look at that beautiful bridge. It is a beautiful, beautiful day today. Uh, there's a bunch of kids up here playing in a little water feature park, which I think is awesome. I'm not going to get too close to them because we don't need more kids on the internet. Um, I do want to show you this little feature though, because there aren't any kids on it. So, fun little water feature. And then there's a couple, um, the, the Annie, and, Annie and Elizabeth Anderson, who I was, <laughs> who, uh, who, there's a family connection there, um, this one. And uh, so there's a little art center over there. There's uh, some water features across the way and steps up to a pedestrian mall area where they're having the jazz, I think it's a jazz festival or a music festival. And then you've got these playgrounds, kind of crazy looking playgrounds um, with spongy surf, flowing water and spongy uh, soft surfaces. Um, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on the bank side here because, and then we'll loop back on the river side, I think. Uh, and that way we won't be looking into the sun quite as much. Oh, look at the, all these mature trees. It's fantastic. And then over here we've got, um, Looks like some old foundations of some old buildings. I don't know what the history of that is. If you know, if you have Cincinnati connections, Cincinnati memories, familial knowledge, or have visited, um, please let me know in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. I love uh, getting feedback and corrections. If I make an error, I want to make sure we get the the straight dope out. Um, look at the stonework on this old bridge and the old ironwork. It's awesome. I really do regret uh, not um, doing a little more research here. I'm sort of in a rush to get things done. That's never a good, never a good system. Some a little mist park over there for when it's hot. And it has been quite warm. Um, it was pretty pleasant this morning. We've got, um, you can go and you can walk across that bridge over to Fort Thomas. We've got another playground over here. Now this is, what a fantastic park, you know? I'm just gonna. Swing by without trying to film the kids. 
because nobody really wants their kids filmed on the internet. Um, so a lot of these benches also have names from people that donated to help make it happen. It's like a, maybe a summer camp or daycare coming out here. But I want to show you these, excuse me, excuse me, these gardens. Look at all these beautiful gardens. All these flavor, all these flowers. There's more downtown right there. Which is pretty cool to have something like this so close. I like the way they've done these gardens too. It's pretty organic and kind of like a wild meadow or field. Look at these flowers. <laughs> uh, I want to thank our Patreon supporters. Uh, for your contributions as well as the folks that have done one-time contributions. I try to do that every video because it really does mean a lot uh, to me and make me, uh, it keeps me motivated. Here's a labyrinth. So I never knew that a la what a labyrinth really was until someone put one in in Livingston that's now gone, but you just walk this path and it leads you through it's just a long walk, basically, but it doesn't go anywhere. So it gives you a chance to, little, to meditate and to think and to ponder the world or your life or whatever, uh, which I think is great. Here we go. So coming through in the distance is a big old barge um, and the Ohio River is a major transportation route for materials and they do it with these barges and uh, they this one is looks like it's three abreast and one two three two three four five six deep six long so 18 of these container things um, filled with, uh, well, it looks like coal. And so they're coming from, so it, this, the Ohio River comes out of the Appalachians, Appalachians um, from Pittsburgh, basically, and above that, big time coal country. Uh, and they dig it out, strip it out of West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio, Terror. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not going to go down that road. Um, and then they load it on the barges and they ship it out. And there used to be a major coal depot here. I don't know if it's still here. Um, and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then it's shipped out wherever it needs to go. There's a little splash park, fountain park. I want to show you two things. So I'm going to go back over here to Maring Way East. Um, one thing, oh, that smells good. It smells like a pool. One thing is, I think it's called a Great American Ballpark. Yeah, this is where the Cincinnati Reds play. I believe they'll be playing today, have an afternoon game. And, hmm. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see it from here. I'd have to get up there. But there is the Underground Railroad Freedom Center, and it's a museum. And it's fascinating. It's, if you get a chance to see it, it, um, it humanizes a subject that, at least for me, was not, it was only theoretical. And I think it's important to recognize that that was something that people in this country did, accepted, and promote it and defend it. Um, it's not just historical anachronism, it was shockingly recently. So uh, that's my little personal pontification for now. Look at all this garden, it's so beautiful. Anyway, I highly recommend doing that. There are a bunch of other museums in town as well. So much to do in Cincinnati. 
and Fort Thomas across the river. There's a big aquarium over there, which is fantastic. Um, I love these swings. And the design, too, of the little shade things. Um, you know, this undulating shade, but it doesn't actually, um, doesn't stop any rain or anything. Um, but it creates some shade, which is really nice on a hot day. You can kind of see the ballpark there. I am hoping to get a walk downtown and a couple other places in Cincinnati. There is quite a bit to show um, in this area. There's quite a bit to do um, and enjoy. Two things Cincinnati is particularly famous for are Grater's ice cream and Cincinnati chili. And there's two predominant purveyors of Cincinnati chili. There's Skyline and then there's Gold Star. And I'm a Skyline guy personally, but I don't think it really matters. Um, and if you are not familiar with Skyline chili, it's not a traditional style chili. Um, it's a Greek chili and it has is uh, meat and liquid and it has a seasoning with has a little bit of cinnamon in it so it has a different taste it's served <laughs> if you're not familiar with it it might be strange here but uh, it's served on spaghetti noodles and so there's a chili three-way four-way and five-way a three-way is chili, noodles, and cheese. I think that's right. A four-way is chili, noodles, cheese, and beans, kidney beans, and cheese. And a five-way adds on chopped onions. And a five-way is gluttonously delicious. Um, and we actually had two, Grater's ice cream is, it's called French pot ice cream. I think it's owned by Kroger now, but was a family owned thing for a long time. Oh, somebody's unhappy. Um, and uh, it's French pot slow churned, I think. And it was famous for a long time for having um, these massive chunks of chocolate. And the chocolate in, in the chips, the chocolate chips are really good. The ice cream is really good. and. It's quite the treat. We doubled down yesterday. We had uh, first graders and second graders, and we were joking that we should someday we should do an elementary school of ice cream with the first graders, second graders, third graders, all the way up to sixth, if we can swing it. That seems like a recipe for a sore tummy. Oh, this is interesting. General Lafayette was received here in 1825. It's kind of cool. So it has a history, Cincinnati, of being a riverboat town because it is a river town. Um, and this is a big paddle for a paddle wheeler, stern wheelers and side wheelers. And uh, those are the steamships that predominantly shipped products around on the river um, and people. And they used to have this event called Tall Stacks, and they would bring in all these old restored paddle wheelers uh, to the city and have a big festival around it. Uh, and this looks like a bunch of, sorry, I'll give me a break here. Give me a pause. The Cairo gunboat. Um, seems to be a list of a bunch of the different ships that came through here. So these are rail tracks, no longer used, the best it looks like. They have added in, well, you can even park down here. Um, they have added in a free three and a half, four mile trolley uh, in the downtown area. Uh, which I think is super cool and a great way to get people around. I think partially they wanted to get people down to the over the Rhine district, which um, 
was a very rundown and neglected area of the city. Uh, it's sort of on the rise now with um, a lot of investment and restoration in there. I suspect there's some uh, serious gentrification issues in there as well. And I don't know how the city is handling that. Um, uh, hopefully well, we'll see, you know. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, it, I know gentrification, gentrification is one of those uh, problems that don't have a complex solution. or don't have a simple solution. They're complex problems. Okay, we're getting down to an area called Sawyer Point. Um, and this is sort of, you can see kind of the cobble here. So I believe the cobbles used to go kind of all the way down to the river's edge. And the, this is where the, the boats would pull in and, and dock and offload stuff. Um, look at the massive scale of, invest, of investment. So this is Heritage Bank Center. At one time, I think Cincinnati had a uh, not an NBA team, but a basketball team that was one of the other leagues. And I think they uh, played down there. Cincinnati, I believe the Cincinnati Kings or Cincinnati Queens? Probably Kings. Um, and they also had, uh, did I call it Fort Thomas? It might be Newport. Anyway. Um, and they had a hockey team, but they, a minor league hockey team, but they played somewhere else. Um, anyway, that's, so they have that center. They also have, which I'm hoping to get tickets to, is the Cincinnati Football Club, which is a soccer team. And they have a uh, pretty new stadium, TQL Stadium, over on the edge of over the Rhine area. Um, and uh, near a place called Findlay Market. Um, uh, this is Sawyer Point. There is a trail that goes along in this, these walking paths. They go quite a ways along the river. I don't know how far. Um, it would be amazing to have a bike trail that followed the Ohio River for a significant amount of time. Um, you can see, I'm gonna go over here to the edge real quick. You can see, um, it's like there's some sort of event going on there maybe on the far bank, but there's the aquarium. I don't know if you can quite make it out from here. Uh, and then a big theater complex off to the left called the gallery uh, and an IMAX place. And there uh, over here, you can see, uh, couple river boats. I think they go out for cruises on the far end of the, I think that's, let me go over here. Um, the Licking River, I believe is what it is, comes in from Kentucky on that far side. You can see some old, uh, I don't know, American Gothic, Southern Revival. I don't know, these old buildings that have been there forever and they look like uh, they were homes at some point. Um, and this river does flood and it gets up quite high. You can see quite high. You can see the, there's a levee on that far side that is meant to um, keep the water from flooding out that area. Um, this is called the Serpentine Wall. And it's kind of a neat place with steps and seating and I have to imagine that they would, uh, I don't know, anchor a barge with a stage out there. That would be pretty cool. Have some water music, other than the constant drone of traffic. Um, my dad said one time he read a report, a newspaper article about a guy that had came down here and had set out decoys and was duck hunting off the serpentine wall. Um, 
I'm going to give him credit for, for saying that that was an article. But, uh, and this, it was probably in the 70s or something, 60s. But you can see some old pilings and then another old bridge and another bridge. And this was back in the day when, um, you know, that's the only way to get across other than a boat. And it made a huge deal. It made a, a it was worth the money. The amount of trade you could get by building a bridge, um, the amount of trade that, that would increase made a lot of sense. Um, I was talking about flooding at some point. So the water gets up quite high and a tremendous amount goes through here. I don't know what the actual numbers are, but you know, that's a quarter mile across, maybe a half mile, a quarter mile across, maybe. Um, so that's a tremendous amount of water. And then it, to come up 30 or 40 feet is huge. Um, and it, it gets up pretty high sometimes. Here's another view of downtown. You can kind of get a sense of distance that we've traveled on our little walk today. Uh, look at these. What are these? These are, um, um, blanking on the name. I don't want to say Poplar, but I don't think that's right. But I love the lines of mature trees that shade everything. And the lush green lawns. You know, we live in Montana, and to get a lawn like that, you got to irrigate a lot. But not so much here in, in Ohio. <laughs> They get, a, they get a ton of rain. Uh, everybody has great lawns. Uh, of course, it's still a little early in the summer. Um, but there are some very idyllic neighborhoods around uh, with plenty of, of big lawns. And my son was commenting on how big the lots are here um, in the neighborhoods. Part of that is where we were driving. But, you know, it's true. Uh, well, you can see. Uh, kind of the, the flood marking. Each one of those numbers is another 10 feet, I believe. Get an idea of the scale. It's always a challenge. So the serpentine wall has been here quite a long time, uh, but the, sh the smale, I keep want to call it smale, the smale park, um, area is fairly is I don't know fairly new oh hello it's one of those boats maybe they're taking off um but it I I talk about this quite often or I mention it quite often Having something like this just makes a huge difference in terms of, I don't know, the experience of being in a city, of visiting a city. You go up the hill into downtown, it's still pretty nice, but it's a little edgier for sure. Um, there's more people, there's more traffic, there's more sound bouncing around everywhere. Um, you've got a lot of really cool, old, 19th century buildings, early 20th century buildings. Um, and it's, but it's a kind of a concrete or rock canyon, you know. It's uh, sort of the metaphor I think has been used. Um, there, there, I thought maybe those were bike police those folks. Yeah, the little boat's going out now. Taking off. Going out on a tour. So this is what it looked like. I think this building was off to the right here. The Heritage Bank Center was built in the 60s or 70s. And there's this sort of rounded concrete design. You can see it's starting to show a little bit of age. Some Rebar showing through there. 
Um, and I think at the time that was probably amazing. You know, you've got this modernist uh, take on city design and from post-industrial age, um, which Cincinnati had a lot of industrial stuff, a lot of big old factories belching exhaust and smoke and steam and still has some of that around um, but you know I think a lot of the processes have moved on and then you get into the more modern design with the park and the trees and the playgrounds and stuff that is welcoming to people not just designed to get someone from their car to a entertainment complex or from their car to work or back still it's the level of uh, the scale of it all is still pretty impressive it's mr mr red or mr baseball it's kind of their uh we call that their mascot. There are a warren of streets down here, I'll tell you that. It's fairly easy to navigate, not a lot of traffic this far down, which is nice. Um, it is a Friday, just FYI. You can see the riverboat heritage in the design of this little area of the ballpark. couple of stacks there. Uh, there are some e-bike rentals you can do just around town or sharing. I think you can, I think you have to pay for them. Uh, called the Red Bikes, which is kind of neat. That dark, modern, bluish glass building is pretty interesting across the way. Huh. Another view of those, uh, I'm gonna punch in here. They, uh, those buildings across the way, the old homes. And I'm gonna punch out again. Um, anyway. Pretty impressive stuff. Um, we're going to keep going here. We got to, we're going to backtrack along the river, see some more of these. Look at these flowers. But I just want to comment that um, if you get a chance, if you like these videos, um, please check out citywalksvirtualtours.com. Uh, it's our library where City Walks live. And uh, they're searchable by runtime and location. So you can go to Europe, hit a little drop down arrow and it'll show all the cities in Europe that we've been to and filmed. North America, it's by state, mainly because I haven't done any in Canada. And um, then I do lump, I think I lump Mexico in with Central America. Um, and I've got some other ones from Guatemala and uh, Honduras. So check those out. like things are starting to fill up over there. Maybe it's just the restaurant at the stadium.
it smells like a park. You know, it's got the the grass and the flowers and um, the trees and a little bit of the river. But you know, I would have expected the river to smell a little more dank, a little more swampy. But it really doesn't. Here's some more of that. Um, cobblestone landing area, which is pretty cool. And honestly, <laughs> now that I just noticed it, I saw something that could be a piece of trash or it could be a bird, but surprisingly little uh, litter down here in trash. And there's a little bit but honestly, not as much as I would have expected. And I don't know if there are some ducks down here. Um, I don't know if they make an effort to clean that up or if it's just not making it into the river for whatever reason. I think it's wonderful. It is great to see. say I'm a little surprised that um, rather, that we don't see any homeless people down here. There's a couple people napping on the uh, lawn, but I don't think they're homeless. And I don't uh, I don't really know why that would be. Perhaps they police it strictly and just don't allow those folks to come down here. Um, they're certainly around up in downtown area. Uh, again, another one of those problems that I think I mentioned is just so complex. There's a, I think it's a turkey vulture down here on the bank. Kind of see him right about there. There, I think. It's hard to tell in the monitor. Oh, here's another view of... Okay, so I mentioned the um, Underground Railroad Freedom Center, and it's the brown and white building uh, below the PNC Bank building, so that's in the it's it is in the foreground of that. It's on this side of the big highways that run through downtown. Um, again, highly recommend that. It's a very well done um, center. And well, hello there. That, that little sparrow? It's almost as loud as a meadowlark. A memory garden. Interesting. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This bridge, love it. see this path earlier, but I guess kind of just goes down along the river.
Sounds like they're about to start up the uh, music fest. Somebody's trying out the drums out there. What a beautiful day to be along the river in Cincinnati. Um, I'm going to turn around here and show you the downtown area. And I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you for joining us today at the riverfront area, Smale Park, uh, Riverfront Park to Sawyer Point, and uh, for walking along with us. I'm going to try and do some more. Uh, Cincinnati walks, can't guarantee it, but uh, we'll see what I can get in here. And just did some Chattanooga. I'm trying to, gonna get maybe on Saturday to do a, uh, tomorrow, a walk in Lexington, Kentucky, because I'm gonna go down there and see some folks. And so long story short, keep on checking through here. Keep on telling each other about these and having a good time and getting out there. But mainly, of course, as I always say, keep on stepping. We'll see you soon.